Hi everyone, this is Anime Select with a bit of breaking news, I guess. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my normal spot. I'm actually in my bed and you were really close to my air conditioner. I'm sorry, I have to leave it on. It, it's really absurdly hot up here for it being this early in the morning and I really just I can't. And I, I have to break this story because for me it's really important and I, I'm still kind of reeling over it actually. Um, as I find out more about it and pardon me as I look at my um, notes and sources and things on my computer as I go through this. Now, um, those of you who are fans of the channel Cartoon Network, you may be acquainted with a show called Clarence. Now, I personally have never seen this show, but I have heard of the concept, and it's basically about um, a little pudgy kid and his adventures with his friends, and kind of like quirky humor, I'm guessing. It's creator. I'm guessing its main creator, Skylar Page, has just been fired from Cartoon Network due to sexual assault. And um, apparently, this is also breaking, that he is now um, in a hospital being treated for a mental illness. Uh, the whole thing apparently started on June 29th when a storyboard artist for, I believe, Adventure Time, let me double check, yes, Adventure Time, Emily Partridge, um, tweeted about possible sexual assault going on in the office, but she never really mentioned a name. And she had kept, you know, she was tweeting about it all day until um, a friend of hers, I believe, just went right out and said his name, you know, to quote her, um, Twitter statement, quote, Skylar Page, creator of Cartoon Network's Clarence, is known to grope women without their consent. Don't be left alone in a room with him, end quote. Um, after that, I guess Miss Partridge just figured, you know, his name is out now, so I might as well just say what's been going on. And um, it sparked a lot of reaction from people. In fact, Ryan Penguin, a storyboard artist for regular show, did come to her defense in the end saying, and I quote, Skylar Page acted frighteningly inappropriate towards someone close to me recently, and I feel it's important for people to know this. And though it seems he struggles with mental illness, that's no excuse for repeated aggressive bad behavior, especially towards women, end quote. Um... With the news of this and, you know, social media being what it is, these tweets made it out, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, Tumblr, and it got fans of the show riled up and it just got people in general riled up because it also exposed, I guess, this horrible thing that's going on with women in the animation business where they are being sexually assaulted. But, uh, at, at the news of this, Cartoon Network did act very fast, I might add, considering that... This, I believe, all happened on the 20th, not the 23rd, <laughs> on the 3rd of July. And today is July 4th. Happy 4th of July, I guess. Um, so, you know, they acted really, really fast. In fact, I saw a screen cap of, you know, Cartoon Network, I guess, was going to show an episode of Clarence. But they pulled it and they had left a note saying, we apologize, you know, this episode of Clarence will not be shown due to, uh, you know, personal reasons and Cartoon Network. Please enjoy clips of it online, yada, yada, yada. And I was really shocked. Cartoon Network did take the appropriate measures to stop this harassment by basically just getting rid of the problem. Now... I did not know about this show. I didn't know anything about the creator until just now. And like I said before, I did not know this man suffered from a mental illness. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to agree with with um, sorry with what Mr. Peng Penguin or Pequin. I, I believe it might be Pequin. Um, I have to agree with what he said. Mental illness is no excuse for repeat of aggressive bad behavior. I, I mean, really, I, I know that, you know, mental illnesses are a problem and everything, but it should not be used as an excuse. It's been being used as an excuse now for so many things. And I mean, yes, you know, mentally ill people do get stereotyped and, you know, they do get grouped in as being crazy when they do have something wrong with them. And it's no excuse for him to be sexually harassing someone I don't we don't know us as a public we don't know how long the sexual assault has been going on it could have been going on for months it could have been going on for a year we don't know all we know is from what Miss Partridge told us and we can start the timeline from the 29th that's all we can really do as the public 
So, you know, who knows how long this has been going on? Who knows how extensive it could be? We don't know the advancements of the sexual harassment. It could have been verbal. It could have been physical. It, it, you know, we, we don't know. We just don't know how many women have, has he affected by this. Apparently, people have been trying to cover it, cover this up. And that's even more frightening. And I'm I'm really glad that Cartoon Network did the right thing and just stopped it in its tracks by getting rid of Skylar from the studio. And I also heard this hasn't really been confirmed. I, I'm going to assume this is a rumor that he has been banned. But I would like to hope that he is because sexual assault, no matter you know, no matter if you are a woman or a man. Uh, it, it is wrong it's just wrong and it makes people feel so uncomfortable and people should not be afraid to go into work out of fear of sexual assault that's just horrible you know it, it happens in work it happens in school it, it happens everywhere and it takes people like Emily Partridge to speak up about it in order for something to be done so real quick before I move on to this last little bit of the video I want to commend Miss Partridge on speaking out about her sexual uh, assault experience and I I know she was kind of upset that people did keep calling her a pioneer, not a pioneer, but, you know, brave for doing it. But, I mean, basically she said that because of the culture. This is a horrible culture where, you know, we have to praise people for speaking out about sexual assault when it really shouldn't happen in the first place. But, once again, I do have to commend her on it because some people are really afraid to speak out about it. So, hopefully, this can be an example of... If you are, you know, sexually harassed, then if you speak out about it, oh, you know, something should be done. Hope something should be done about it. Um, and lastly, before I end this video, because it is going a little bit over what I wanted to, um, I'm going to quote um, a little reaction that former, I believe, storyboard artist on the show, Clarence Patrick Hairpin had put up on his tumblr page i can leave a link down to it below along with um the along well no i can't really leave that and i'll explain why in a minute but i will leave a link to this article right here um and i quote this is a statement i quote i was head of story on clarence from the beginning obviously skylar page sexually assaulted a female artist at cn cartoon network Skylar's a piece of shit and CN should give him the boot. Emily Partridge is one badass chick for standing up to a guy who a lot of people wanted to cover up for. Skylar's asshole behavior, though not yet sexual assault, was the main reason I quit the show more than a year ago. I can't imagine how fans of the show are feeling right now, but the reason you like Clarence in spite of its creator is because the creator had very little to do with the show. Despite what it says in the credits, Skylar never wrote a single episode of Clarence. It was created by the writers, me and Spencer Rothbell, and the talented board artists, people like Charlie, Gavin, Derek, and Diana. We took Skylar's idea of a fat, dumb kid and made a character out of it. Skylar mostly kept the couch from floating away and read whatever lines we gave him. There's been enough victims of Skylar Page. Don't push the talented crew that actually raised Clarence. And I, oh, end quote. And I actually have to agree with him on this. Now that it's confirmed that Skylar has no more input, no more interactions with the show itself, I say that you all should continue to support Clarence, you know, show the people who are working on the show that we still believe in them and the direction they can take this show, even after this, you know, horrible, horrible incident that should have never even happened. Um, and I feel that, you know, you should support these artists because if the show ended, there would be a lot of people out of a job, a lot of well-meaning people. Uh, out of a job and it would be horrible and it would be horrible to see a show that has gained gained a really big fan base apparently to just go away like that because of a man's stupid stupid actions toward a woman um now i will leave on two more things one uh, I really do hope that Skylar Page does get the help that he needs. I mean, like I said before, his mental illness should not be used as an excuse for his behavior. But 
that does not mean that I wish ill will toward the man. I do hope that he receives tre the treatment that he needs for his mental illness. And I really hope that he can, you know, apologize for his behavior and his actions towards Miss Partridge and who knows how many other female workers down at Cartoon Network that he is affected. Um, and I would also like to say um, that Miss, there's an article about this scandal done by Cartoon Brew but Miss Partridge does not like the article I guess she does not like the tone of it I read it and it is a bit meh. but um, being as she is one of the victims in this and she does not like this article and it is apparently miscrewing things for her miscongruing things for her sorry um, you know, basically twisting her words and everything. She has requested that people stop, you know, blogging it or retweeting it and everything. So if you do want to find out information about this, I would recommend to stay away from the Cartoon Brew article just at the request of Miss Partridge. That's that's why. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this whole thing because I I am a fan of animation. I am a fan of animation. So when I see something like this happen, it hurts me. It really hurts me. I'm looking from the outside in and I see this and as a fan of animation and someone who appreciates it, it's it's it hurts. It really hurts. It hurts so much. I'm really, really disappointed in that this had to happen and that this is a normal occurrence apparently. And I it makes me really sad, but like I said, I'm glad that she reported it. I'm glad that she told people. I'm glad that she even brought it to the public's attention because we would have never even known about it. But yeah, so what did you think about this whole situation? Do you think Cartoon Network did the right thing by firing Mr. Page? Um, how do you just feel about the whole situation in general? Now, mind you... I want you all to be respectful towards Miss Partridge because as I said sexual assault is not a light thing to deal with. So any disrespectful comments toward Miss Partridge will be deleted immediately and I'm letting you all know that right now. Uh, so thank you all for watching um, and I will be back with a, another video hopefully one that does not deal with such a serious subject as this. This is Anime Select signing off. Sorry for the ugly background and the horrible lighting and the air conditioner.